Hello everyone. Today we are making egg bites. They're our version of the Starbucks egg bites. Now the Starbucks egg bites are pretty tiny. We, as you can see, use a muffin tin and it's the bigger size muffin tin. This morning we are using spinach, red bell peppers, and mushrooms. So we're going to go ahead and start putting it together. First thing you do is you want to use some type of cooking spray, vegetable, avocado, whatever you choose, whatever your preference is, just to make sure they don't stick. Right now we're using some frozen spinach and just putting a small amount, a little handful, however much you think you need, into the bottom cup of each one. And it's just frozen spinach. That's all it is. There we go. Next is the bell peppers. I process a lot of our vegetables just like I process our potatoes. So we have two big bags of chopped up red bell pepper ready to use for any recipe we choose. Now we're adding some mushrooms. So these egg bites will be red bell pepper, spinach, and mushrooms. So, so far we have the cooking spray and you just add the vegetables. The mushrooms are fresh, the bell peppers and the spinach are frozen. It doesn't matter. It, when you think about baking and the extra water from the frozen vegetables, it, it doesn't matter. It's perfectly fine. They come out the same every time. Now, you see a blender. We take five eggs. Now there's six muffin cups. We only use five eggs because we also use a different source of protein in the egg bites. And be careful with eggshell, <laughs> just in case. The secret ingredient adding to the eggs is cottage cheese. Half cup. I think this is half. Okay. It's a half a cup of cottage cheese. Right in with the eggs little bit more because she didn't quite fill the cup. So it's a little over a half cup. Use your best judgment. How's that? <clears throat> a little under two cups. Okay, so excuse the blending. Then she adds salt, and I would say salt to taste, and pepper to taste. She also puts cayenne pepper in it, which is really good for you. It opens up all those wonderful blood vessels and blend again. you take your muffin tin with your veggies and you pour a little bit of egg mixture in each one just a little so that you can save and top off 
all the muffin cups. Excellent. See, when you use five eggs, so you don't have to use six. When you use five eggs and over half a cup of cottage cheese, then that fills them. And we bake them in the broiler for half hour, for 30 minutes. We bake them in the broiler, I know that might scare you, on low, low setting on your broiler and we bake them. You'll see them in half an hour. Hi guys, this is the finished product. It's 30 minutes on low in your broiler and then five minutes, two minutes, two minutes on high in the broiler. This is how they come out. Nice. Looks like that one shrunk up a little bit. But we do have high humidity here as well. So these are our, I don't know if I want to say imitation Starbucks egg bites, but egg bites came from Starbucks. So thanks for watching, guys.